Hey guys, if you want to learn how to grow food in your own home and you have no place to grow your own food, guess what guys? We're growing in home, indoors, in a greenhouse. So let's get started. <laughs> let's get started, guys. This greenhouse was made for you and I. Together, we are going to grow food. And if you are ready for that challenge, give yourself a hand of applause because we are going to garden five, four, Three, two, one. Let's grow and eat together. And welcome to my greenhouse. Hey guys, we are back in our greenhouse today. So we are going to be feeding our plants today with this compost that I made, guys. This is some good compost. I have eggshells. I no, I don't have eggshells. I have all types of fruit fillings and coffee grounds, water, and of course, coffee inside there. So we're gonna be using this. Remember we used this, you know we did this compost, right? A video back. So we're just gonna put this on our food. Just give it a little food, you know what I mean? And then we're gonna water these babies up, all right? Just give it a little bit of food. You don't have to give it a lot of food, okay? Okay, so we're just dropping stuff in, we're not, that's all we're gonna do. We're just adding to the mix. Okay, guys, we're not doing like too much anything else. We're just gonna add it to the mix to help it out. Okay, never put it too close to your roots. We don't wanna do that. Cause then your baby roots are gonna do that, right? Never close to your roots. I'm doing is just mixing this in and just mixing it in, giving it some food, giving it some love, touching the soil, seeing what's going on. So this is what you're doing at the same time that you're feeding your plants. All right, guys. Okay, so I just did the strawberry. So let's do our cherry tree here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is just give it a little dab here, like that. And then another dab, just two dabs, okay? Two dabs. And what we're doing is just covering it around. And I want to make sure that it hits around the root, but not on the root, okay? Make sure it doesn't get on the root, because we're feeding these babies today, okay? So that's just what I just pull them. I just put them back in the earth. And we're feeding our babies today so they can get that good nutrition, all right? So we're going to do that with also our, look at those llama beans growing up, guys. Aren't they looking beautiful? And my snapper peas. So I just want to put like a line here. Okay. And then a line over here. Because that's where we got our babies. And we're going to mix that soil. That's all we're doing. It's just mixing the soil. My hands are gross. Yeah. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay? Mix that soil. Make sure that gets in there good. Okay? Now we're gonna do that side here. We're just mixing the soil, spreading it, giving it some love around these areas here. Giving it some love. So that's what we're doing. Okay? And that's all you gotta do. All right, so I did my strawberries, and guys, can you see that? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I got berries coming up, so I'm excited for that. All right, sweet potatoes and potatoes we're not going to do, but we will put a little in our greens. I call it greens, all right? Cause I want these to be nice. These are the ones that doesn't grow heads, all right? And that's good. I didn't think collard greens grew heads. Okay, so we're just mixing it. You don't need a lot. Just mixing it around. And by you doing this, also, you like I said, you're touching the dirt to make sure your soil feels good, not too dry, not too wet. There you go, guys. So, so all I'm doing is just mixing this all around, moving it around, making sure all layers inside 
And this is my collard greens. Here, guys. Okay. These are my collard greens here. Okay. Let's see. I put some in the peas. I'm just showing you some of the plants that I could do. Oops, too much. While I'm holding the camera, then off camera, I have to do the rest of them. But this is all I do, guys. This is all I do. This is all I do. And these peas are going to grow up good. This is all I do. Okay, you want to make sure it's nice and mixed. And these are my candy cane peppers. Yep, my candy cane peppers. Okay, so that's nice and mixed in there. Okay, I think these are my... Um, did I, put? I forgot what I put down here, so I have to wait for it to grow. But I'm pretty sure these might be my cantaloupe. Might be cantaloupe in there. I'm not certain yet. I have to wait for it to grow up a little more. Okay, here's another pepper plant. I'm just going to put a little. Okay. You don't need a lot, guys. Don't forget, it's still like a fertilizer. Because fertilizer is your feed and your plants. We'll clean all that yucky stuff off our... our Lovely babies. Okay. And that's all you're going to do, guys. That's all I do with my compost. <coughs> Some's falling off my hands. Um, I think this is my spinach here. I got coming up. So, I'm just going to move that in the dirt in between. To make sure everything is good. So that's all I do, guys. Your hands might get a little messy, but it's all right. It's all right. Okay. I'm getting between. And yeah. She's going to look. Watch these in a few. Watch these next week. Watch how these look next week. We're not going to feed them next week, okay? But watch how they look next week. This is another pepper plant. And this one is my banana, hot banana peppers. Okay, because I love me some hot bananas. Y'all see those gnats flying around in here? Don't worry. I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to show you what to do. All right now, we got feed our babies. All right. Now, my fruit trees, I don't do too much to them. Only because... I gotta do this one. This one, some of these I just got, so I'm gonna show you the ones I just got also. Okay, guys? The plant. Well, uh, my plants. All right? And there's just tomato plants and one eggplant that I just got. All right? And this one here I just got, and this one is the Bonnie Harvest, and this is the Chocolate Sprinkle Cherry Tomatoes. So that's what they're gonna look like there. Excited for that. So I got those. And you guys see flowers on there. Now these two here in the middle I just got also. And these are from my nursery, local nurseries in New Jersey. Um, I think Millville area. Um, and these are porch tomatoes, all right? So I'm put some in there. And we'll scrape the rest out and put in the other one. So, as you guys see how much I put in here, I just take it, rub my hand around first, and then just dig it in there. Okay, guys? All right. Now, um, my porch uh, tomatoes, these are determinate. So, once they put out all their bloom, that's it. I think these grow to maybe between six and five, um, five and six feet or something like that. But these are term determinate um, tomatoes, and they will grow, put out all their their fruit, and then, you know, move on to the next one, all right? So that's why I got two porch tomatoes here. There's another one. It's so so many uh, flowers on there, but, guys, I have so much fruit also on there. See that? I don't know if I can. Look at that. 
got some of them there. I gotta work. I'm gonna be spraying these off. But guys, look at this tomato plant here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm gonna be pinching her back. Now with these type of tomato plants, you don't have to pinch back because it's a porch one and it just grows whichever way it likes. But I like to pinch it back so the sun can, especially at the bottom, um, with these leaves here, I'll pinch back, things like that. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of fruit in here. There you go, guys. Let's see if we can see this one. Uh, where we go? There we go. There she is there. Beautiful, and then as you come up the tree, there's some more there. And she has some hidden in here also, guys. She has a lot of fruit on her. I'm excited for her, so yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And I'm gonna be repotting her because she's kind of, you know, I think her roots are probably all the way out. Maybe, I have to check. But yep, I think her roots are out. So I will be, I think that's a root down there. So I will be doing that one over, all right, guys? So this one, it's another uh, tomato plant. This is my first, no, this is, this is my first, yeah, this is my first tomato plant. But I'm growing, and hold on, guys. Just hold on. So that's all we're gonna do. We just I got it all on the back of my hand, so that's how I scraped it out. So, but I want to be able to make sure I get some mix in there. I don't know if I did this one or not. I maybe did. That's what it looks like now. <laughs> I maybe did, but it's okay. It's not a lot, you know. So that's what we're doing right there, right, guys? So that is how we just feed our plants this lovely compost. I'm going to be making, like, um, teas also. So I have teas for my babies also. Now we're going to take this pump here that I got from uh, Home Depot. you got to forgive me, guys, because I got one hand. Home Depot, the pump, and you just spray your plants. So that's what we're doing. Look how beautiful. And some things we're going to be pruning out soon, as you can see some of the brown leaves. And then we're going to top her here, here. Get that off of there, there you go. All right, now you guys don't see these bugs, but I do some of them, the gnats. So we're gonna catch those today. It's my broccoli, she's growing beautifully. Yes. And then my babies in here, my peas, my llama, my baby llama, uh, what are these? But, butter beans for now. We're going to call them because, um, yeah, they haven't grown out yet. Butter beans are the small llama beans. And then when they become huge and I think white or something like that, they are llama beans. Okay. So. And they like water. So I have to make sure that I'm giving them water. This is what I like about this pump. You don't have to bend down so much. And guys, I want to show you on my baby here that she has fruit also too. This is the first one I got. Let me see if I can get her around. So you guys seen that one there. Look how beautiful she is. But you can start to see, look at those. You see that? What are they? Look at those. They're growing in also, guys. So I'm excited. This is just showing you guys that you can have a greenhouse in your house and your food will still grow with proper maintenance and care, okay? Proper maintenance and care. That doesn't mean put the greenhouse in and then you're, fine, you're finished. No, no, no. You got a lot of work to do. You got to make sure that your soil doesn't stay so, so moist. And we're going to get rid of these here, so I'm not good with lettuces like this. So I'm going to try again. So I'll probably try from seed because these were already grown or whatever you call them. They were already up, so I just planted them in soil. But I'm going to try by seed this time, next time. So that's what I want to do. So, yeah. I do have some lettuce that I am growing and that's in the windowsill. I'll put it back in the windowsill. And this iceberg lettuce. This brain. That's a lemon tree. Look how good she's looking. All right. Look at my onions. Now, when you're growing scallions, what type of onions, and you chop them back, they look like this. Looks like it's been cut. 
when they are growing, how you know they are growing, you'll find ones that look like this. You see? See how the point goes all the way up? It doesn't look like it was chopped. Those are the ones you know that are growing. That, that's how you know it's growing. Now the ones right here that doesn't, that look like it's been chopped, yeah, those are the ones we chopped. So the new ones are growing just beautifully. All right. I think this is my spinach. There's another lemon tree and that stem on that lemon tree. I'm loving it. All right. So my peppers, of course, are from Bonnie. I love Bonnie. Bonnie has some good um, plants that I've, so far, I mean, a lot of my plants and food are from Bonnie. Okay. Tomatoes, they foliage. They just don't, they like that foliage to be wet, but they don't like, and you don't want to give them too much water either, because you will, if you see that cracking on your tomato, there's too much water, okay? Their foliage likes to be sprinkled, but don't give it too much, right? And that's what I do. The foliage likes to be sprinkled, but don't give it too much. So we are doing my sweet potatoes are looking beautiful, guys. Look at my collard greens, and these are ones without the stalks, I mean, without the uh, heads on them. I've never seen a collard green with heads to them. Never. I've seen them like this right here. Yeah. All right. So, now that my tomato alley is done, we'll push the tomatoes back. All right. Now, my potatoes, guys, look at this. As you can see, if you time went back, you'll see that I had this folded. Kept, and I just kept building the dirt in here. The more it grows, the more dirt you put on top. You can put them right on top of this here. And it just pops right back on out of the soil. Okay? Uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, beans. So far, what I noticed. And pe um, peppers. They love humidity and heat. All right, guys? Peppers. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, beans, okay? So far th that I've grown in my garden, what I notice is they love heat. They do not, especially when it comes to peppers, do not put your peppers when you have cold, cool days. Peppers do not like the coolness, okay? So if you're going to garden in home, keep it inside, okay? Peppers do not like coolness, all right? I had my fans on, and I had them like a full blast at one time. They just killed my baby so I had to do it all over again so peppers do not like coolness they do like the heat and humidity okay let me just clean that off all right so that's what they like this is my orange tree she is doing very well okay let's give her a pump again orange trees most most plants love water okay all plants love water it's the fact that they don't like their feet to be wet just like you don't like your feet to be wet Okay, and it's okay to spray your stuff down a little bit every day. Spray it down a little, just to give it a little splash to it, to give it some coolness to it. Like that's it. And I think my kales will be coming. It's starting to go into the other stage soon, so that's what I'm waiting for. I'm just gonna let these die back and flower up, so I can get some seeds out of those kales. And I mean, pretty much, that's it. That's all we do. When we come to feeding and watering, boy, look at those tomatoes there. That's going to be a good one right there. Okay, you see no crackling, no nothing. It's just beautiful. This one is going to be a gold mine. But this one here is going to be gorgeous. I can't wait for my um, chocolate sprinkles tomatoes to come out because I definitely want to try those. My potatoes are doing so well, guys, so well. I have so much potatoes in here that grew already in here that's developing in here. Anyway, I have more of these coming up. There was so much of them the other day. Um, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I had to put more dirt on top. So these popped up today. There's going to be a lot more popping out of here. This is a seven-gallon uh, bag, grow bag, okay? You can get these grow bags from Amazon, eBay. You can get them from anywhere. Um, and you can get them for real cheap, so you don't have to buy the real expensive ones. 
Get the cheap ones, because all you're going to be doing is constantly putting water and dirt in them. So, yeah, these grow bags are really good. Really good grow bags. Okay. Okay, now this bag here, I don't. I consider it as a grow bag now, but I purchased this out of the Dollar Tree. It's one of those boxes you put junk in it, storage boxes, soft one. I got that. I use that one. I don't know how many gallons this is. It might be three, four gallons. I'm not sure, but yeah, I use that one too. These are good too, all right? So, and then my strawberry patch is looking beautiful. Everything looks good in here, guys. So, what we're going to do now is spray peppermint spray everything. But before we do that, we're going to use some water and, um, what is that? Peroxide in here, okay? And I do this. It does not kill my plants. My plants love it. And all I do is have water and peroxide in there. And I just spray around the plant, the soil. Okay. I give my food love. Get into that soil too. All right, guys. Let your, let your plants know you ain't playing with you ain't playing. You trying to eat them. You trying to make them as healthy as possible. Okay. So that's what you're doing. It does not hurt your plants. It does not hurt your plants. It's actually helping your plants. Those I'm just gonna get rid of those. But this here, I'm not sure what this is, but it's been growing for me, so I'm gonna continue to. Okay, so I'm going to continue to work with it and see. I'm just spraying, this is just water and my peroxide for now, guys, because I want to make sure that my food stays nice and healthy, the soil stays nice. And I notice when I do this, baby, baby, that this looks tremendous, I mean, it just looks good. All right, so now that I did that, this is what the bugs don't like that I've used that I noticed. Now, I do, I'm going to put some more of these stickies up, and these definitely work. So let me bring it in closer and see if you guys could see these bugs because there are a lot of them. There are a lot of bugs. You see the bugs? So they, these definitely work. I just hang these in the back. So I'm going to be putting up, look at that. I'm going to be putting up um, one more in here. So now I'm going to take my water and peppermint oil. And I'm going to spray that also, guys. This gets the bugs flying out of your soil. And want to see, it. look at that. Let me see if you guys can see that. I gotta find them first. These iPhones are a mess. You see that? See them moving? Yeah, kill that bug. Killing, 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 killing. It's gonna die soon. Mm -hmm. You wanna catch them as soon as you see them, you wanna start working on your garden. Working on your greenhouse or your garden, wherever you have them, catch them as soon as you see them. Don't let them slide past. Say, hey, friend, because we're not friends. No, no, no. I don't want you to eat my food. I'm sorry I got to kill you, but I don't want you to eat my food. Okay? And what this does is helps it not stick to anything because it's oil. And this doesn't ruin your plants or anything like that either. Now, today we are going to give my plants a warm bath. This is what I call warm bath. All right? So, what we're going to do now, guys, I'm sorry if I'm moving around. The camera's really moving around. Today, we are going to put my humidifier on for a good hour. And that's the big one in the back. And then, before I go to bed... For an hour, I will use my dehumidifier, and that's the one in the front. That's to absorb the extra moisture that's going to be in here. So you're going to need a humidifier and a dehumidifier, guys. So always buy both of those, and these will help you out in your garden. As you see, you get less molding in the soil. As you see, no molding in my soil when I came in here. None of that. So you don't want to 
you want to make sure that that's all working out for you guys, all right? So I'm going to put my humidifier on and give me a moment. Guys, so now that I have my humidifier on, as you can see, the green light's on. I don't turn it up all the way. Now, this cup here is for medicine. So what I'm going to put in here is some peppermint. All right, so this is going to help steam up the room in here, my uh, greenhouse in here. And get a couple drops of that. That's all you need in there. And it helps to get rid of those bugs, all right? So while we're, we're waiting for that to steam up, and this gives a warm steam, guys, a warm steam, all right? A warm steam. Let me move it over a little. And is it on? It's on. Okay, it's on. Now, that's what we're going to do, guys. So that's what we do, all right? Already, you're going to just smell it. It's making me, I mean, it's strong. It's really strong. So I'm going to come back in here to see... See, no more movement. There's no more movement. All right, so hold on for a moment. Let me get another sticky. So we're going to be using this Raid Fly Ribbon, all right? I love these. So what you do is you pull the string, but be careful. Because sometimes, well, it's my thumb. Sometimes, there we go. You see it? All right, so that's what you do. Let me take that off. Uh -oh, I gotta get that out of here. You just pull it, guys. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Keep pulling. Okay. And me, because these are really, really sticky, I like to make sure that these are everywhere. Okay. All right. Now it's sticking to each other. So what I like to do is just scrape it down. Put that thing I just had. It's going to take a minute to unravel, like stays unraveled. And it's okay. It's okay. Um, I like to put one. I'm going to put one over here, over here. Out of my way and off of my... You know what? Let's put one up here. Okay. So we'll put one there. All right, guys, it looks nice and smoky and foggy in here. And that is because we have our humidifier on. It looks good. Everything looks perfect.